randomly walking on the street in New York, and I pulled up and see this vintage local market. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop, take a look around, and see what I can find. So let's go. This is the MCM Hunter from the future. I really am excited to show you this cool vintage shop in New York City. But first, if you can, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Let's continue to the video. Oh, and before I go, please stay tuned to the end of the video. I show you what I may or may not have gotten. Also, stay tuned to my channel. I will be posting all of the cool adventures from New York City coming up in the future weeks. So you got to stay tuned. Now let's get into the video. Now I would like to say there was some inclement weather, which kind of threw everything off. I think if there wasn't much rain, this place would be packed of items. But since it's not, it, it was like, I would say it wasn't like the A team, but it was like the B team crowd. Still a lot of vendors, still really cool. Still had a good time. So let me show you some more about what I'm doing. So first stop of the day was this vintage t-shirt and clothing shop. They were kind of about me filming, so I didn't want to like just film them directly in the face, but I ended up finding some things. I found a uh, cool Carhartt vest. They wanted 80 bucks for it, which is like slightly outside my price range. That's 60 or 80. Um, and I think brand new, they're like 80. So I kind of ended up passing on that, but I did try it on. I kind of want to show you like what I look like with it on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> As we continue to shop around, I just want to say, number one, how I do love to support local. I know there's some really cool artisans and, and makers out here making some really cool stuff for us to purchase. It just so happens that I'm in New York walking and I found one out the size. These people are brave in the elements selling. So if you can shop local, also Cityscape Antiques is local, local shop. So if you want to shop there, but, um, yeah, let me wrap things up and then uh, we can go from there. Now I did do some more walking around. Like I said, I was trying to find mid-century modern design, de decor, things like that. And I found this one booth at the very front, had a bunch of pictures, had a bunch of cool items. And it also had like this cool lamp. And, and it, was, it was probably, in my opinion, the best booth in the whole market. Prices were pretty expensive, but it was a really cool booth. So full circle moment for me, I ended up actually seeing a booth with some Peter Kyle on it. And for those who don't know, Peter Kyle is an artist that I've collected for some years now, but he's also pretty famous down in Georgia for whatever reason. Individual was selling it for three fifty a piece, and he was trying to tell me that they sell for a thousand, which the high end ones do sell for a thousand. But that was super cool, and we were able to spot some Peter Kyle in New York. <music> there's 
there was this one booth that had tons of cool pictures the same one that had peter kyle but i hate that the other pictures were out like out in the elements it probably was some pretty valuable stuff because when i'm looking for pictures i'm looking to see like if there's nails on it how old the b-board is on the back and things like that and i felt like there was a couple that identified that might have been worth something but they were in the elements don't know if they were worth anything and then actually some had holes in it too so we don't know Like that really cool small yellow dish and that glasses i thought that was really cool um that nice little booth but it's raining a little bit more here so let me wrap up just want to show you things really quickly give you a short scoop of like what's going on and what's in new york and then we can wrap it up so let's go so unfortunately this is the end of the video i did see some cool shirts cool vintage clothes and that one booth over at the front with some furniture but just want to show you a look of a vintage shop impromptu in new york so if you can please give me a thumbs up subscribe turn on post notifications and like always peace